Hello and welcome back everyone. We are currently in the army warehouses, having just come from Rostock. Uh, got ambushed by some mercs. Like as soon as I popped in, they ambushed me. Uh, they did kill me twice, actually. Actually, they killed me once, and then somebody else came along and just popped me. It looked like a bandit as he walked by. I don't know. Anyway, uh, respawned in, killed those guys, came over here to wait for Mr. Bandit or whoever. Nobody ever showed up, so let's continue on. Editing, not editing, but processing. Uh, I think it was the first video where I came to the army warehouses. I noticed that uh, I left something sitting up here on this barrel. Oh, old dart shells. Yeah, I didn't need them, but okay. Gonna drop it. So, I have picked up two, like, red dot sights. And neither one of them fit on these weapons. So, I think I'm going to sell them, and I'm gonna try to get something that will fit on these. to uh, see the smelly hippie. Actually, I haven't seen Skin Flint in a while. It's been a few, uh, probably three or four episodes. Maybe more. I don't recall. See, I'll record three or four episodes at one time. You know, like, I just came in, we just started an episode three minutes ago. Uh, the previous one, I ended that recording, I saved my game, got up, went to the bathroom, came back, unpaused the game, and continued. So, depending on how long it takes to upload these, dude, how am I overloaded still? Anyway, uh, depending on how long it takes to upload these, uh, between my work schedule and everything, uh, it might be a few hours between episodes, or it might be a day or so, I don't, I don't know. But for me, it's like two minutes. On 0.8 kilograms overweight. Well, that'll be sorted out soon. I'm going to be dropping off some stuff with uh, skin flint. So. I see somebody over there. brownish, like a brown outfit. Could be duty. Could be zombie. I don't know. Oh well. <clears throat> what have we here? Lurker. Lurker. 
Yeah, you guys did loot it. All my pot smoking militant hippie guys. Guys, got anything to say? Иди вон лучше с главным пообщайся. Я тебе вряд ли что интересное расскажу. Эй, сталкер, иди-ка ты лучше с главным беседуй. So in the earlier episode, I was talking about how this tower has always been covered in, in, an, in an anomaly. Bleah. Try saying that five, time, five times fast. Um, so that makes me wonder if that anomaly thing was just a glitch, like you could always go up to the tower. But since it looked like it was an anomaly, it just never did. Homeboy has got some vodka to sell. Oh, he just, he, he does not have vodka to sell anymore. He just drank it. <laughs> well, there you go. You got some girly magazines. There's the man in the tie-dye shirt. I think I'm going to keep the IED. of Nemiroff vodka. Insane. Take those dart shells. I'm not going to use those. Alright. <clears throat> Look at that. He's got a suppressor. Okay, so this will take dovetail mount. Picatinny Weaver. Now see, that's BAS plus VAN. I don't know if that will work. Well, it might. 50. F shit. 5,100 rubles. No. No. Alright. I'll see you later. Wait, you got any work? Dinner party to celebrate Bob Marley's birthday. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Dude, alright, I'll do that. <laughs> no. No. Corden, I'll do that. If there's anything I learned, though, in the uh, previous little series, is that when you get those locked cases for skin flip, you want to drop them off, like, 
as soon as possible. I walked around for a couple episodes with one for Skinflint and one for Sid. That was 17 kilograms between the two of them. Like, I was constantly overloaded for a couple episodes. I couldn't figure out why. Why can't I go underneath that barrel? Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, damn, what? what is going on? And then I looked at the weight on those cases. Holy shit. Oh, that's why. Oh, shit. I forgot to ask him if he had a backpack. A bigger backpack. Okay. Alright, so, uh... Что скажешь, брат? How are you doing that, man? Huh. Uh... I figure I might head up north a little bit here in the army warehouses. See what's going on. See what I can get into. And then, uh, make my way south again. See, I'm at that kind of awkward stage in the game where Привет, брат. you feel like you cannot go too far north. But then again, you don't want to be stuck in the cordon either. So I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth, north to south, you know. Looks like we got a freedom guy up here. Get rid of some of that radiation. <clears throat> Look at me, I've turned into the stereotypical Russian. Squatting. Drunk. Oh crap. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Oh. Up here. I can go some one of those trailers. Hopefully there's no monolith up here to mess with me. Is there anything in here? Ukrainian Maxim. Alright, I should be safe here. Sheltered. Good.
So anyway, it's pretty early in the day, like 10 a.m. Got a bunch of work to do. But I'm off today, my one day off this whole week. And I don't want to do shit. I've got some work I need to do on my car. Uh, I've got a project I've got to start for my business. Uh, I really just don't want to do any of it right now. I just want to sit here and smoke a bowl. But it's pretty early. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the kind I usually smoke at night when I'm getting ready to relax, go to bed. second now. That's weird that these don't show up on your task list. I see there it is, mission complete. And I know it's in one, in the settings, but that it does show up on the messages. There are no monoliths ready to wreck me. No, we're good. Oh shit, that reminds me. I was gonna look and see exactly how much dog meat I need. I've got three. I think I need seven for Skin Flint for their Bob Marley birthday party. Eight. Okay. Dude, how are you still alive? There was no cover for you here. Unless you went up to there. Let's head over to this little farm area and see what's over here. I thought there might be a stash over here. You look 
like duty. Yeah. Duty. I'll take that stuff. Still can't get over how dark some of these interiors are with this reshade. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Foggy. What is that building over there? Save before I go up here over the top of this hill and expose myself to. I don't recall seeing that. Of course, I do not spend a lot of time in this village down here, so. Seen that. I mean, we can go check it out. Maybe not. <laughs> nope. Nope. Just nope. So, if anybody watching this plays Stalker Anomaly, uh, before I started this channel, I was playing, and uh, I got up to, I think it was Jupiter, and there's like a big sinkhole area, or, you know, crater, whatever, and, uh, okay, so that's the base, this is the way out. So, okay. Um, so, this crater, sinkhole, whatever, has a bunch of anomalies in it. And I'm standing on the edge looking down, and I hear footsteps. And I could see dust being kicked up, but there was nothing there. And it wasn't like, you know, how bloodsuckers, they see you and they shriek and then they come running at you. No, this, whatever it was, was just fucking invisible wandering around like it didn't have care in the world. I don't know what the hell it was. It's pretty weird. But yeah, if anybody uh, knows what that is, let me know. Ooh. Happened to you, Sentinel of Freedom. Probably got murked by some duty guys because I did see a bunch of duty guys up there at the farm. Maybe that was a third mercenary. Remember at the beginning of the episode, I, I had been ambushed. Or at the end of the previous episode, I'd been ambushed by two mercs right over here by this truck. Uh, 
so the first time I loaded in, uh, they both, they killed me. Uh, I didn't kill either one, I don't believe. So there's one there, dead. There's the second. Um, so they killed me. And of course, whenever you move into a new area, it auto saves. So I popped right back in with these two guys standing right here in front of me. Killed him. Killed him. And then I got popped from behind and see somebody walk past me that way. As I'm, you know, dying. I could have sworn it was a bandit, but maybe it was a mercenary. Maybe that was the third guy. I don't know. In any case, uh, I moved back up to that jeep and crouched down and waited for somebody to show their face, but nobody did for a few minutes, so I just continued on. foliage right there was a dog. I was thinking, no, 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 it's not been that long. They shouldn't have respawned. Okay, so I've got to pick up dog meat, five dog meats, for Bob Marley's party. The locked case and cordon I need to bring back up to Skinflint. And advanced tools for Xenotech. The scoped... Bison, yeah. Okay. That's what I should have done while I was up there. Was check my stash for those advanced tools. Damn it. Yes, I'm a bit scatterbrained at times. Alright, let's go see the man down here. I mean, I guess I could always buy... Hey, nobody picked those up. Five more dog meats. But I have a feeling I'm not gonna get that big of a reward for finishing the, the mission, so I don't want to lose money on the deal. Backpacks at all. Man, I was up to like forty four thousand and back down to almost nothing. And again, that's how it is in the beginning of the game. And I still even I still haven't even uh, started the uh, storyline. I'm just running around trying to get a little better gear. Alright, well, uh, my timer just went off. So we're right at about 30 minutes. 
Anyway, we'll pick this up uh, next time.